I think that governments and international organizations need to understand that to every problem, there are multiple sides to it. And hearing out every side is what makes up a good solution. To shift the approach from reactive humanitarian aid to a more long-term economic empowerment. To help shift the narrative and highlight migration as a proactive adaptation strategy to cope with the adverse effects of climate change. I want governments, I want international organizations to invest in me. From workshops, creating strategies together to ensure that we involve a diversity of stakeholders. We have so many innovative solutions that we can bring to the table. And it's so crucial especially for young people from the Global South because it is us who will be facing the long-term impact of these crises. And if we are not present at these tables, if we do not have a space in these conversations, we will be leaving out the population that is most affected by the climate crisis. It's obvious, young people are going to be impacted by climate change, but also young people have some of the most innovative ideas out there. So let's hear from them. I'm here today with Grace Mollier, a young activist from Tuvalu and an advocate for the Rising Nations Initiative. Grace, what's your advice for all of us? What do we need to do? What are your lessons for all of us to learn? Thank you, DG Amy Pope. Well, apart from the initiatives that our government is working on, on adaptation, mitigation, and more access to climate funds, I would also like to speak on the Rising Nations Initiative. So with the Rising Nations Initiative, we need more um, sessions on capacity building for our youths in the Pacific. So if there could be more opportunities um, in international conferences where our youths could get out and tell more stories today, what's happening today right now is their future tomorrow. So we need to get youth to the table and then we need to empower young people to act. Yes. Thanks, Grace. Thank you.